what's up youtube this is your boy king daniel so we are back with part two this is our image we just edited and did everything on lightroom and then we're just gonna do the skin retouching on photoshop i like how it looks now okay let's show you the before and after this was the before and then this is the after before 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 after I don't know. Okay, let's open this image on Photoshop. Just right click here and select edit in and then open as a smart object. Okay, now we got our image on Photoshop. Let's zoom in a bit. Just press Ctrl O to fill the, the screen and then press Ctrl and just right click here. I prefer it to be black. Let's try a different color. Okay, now I'm, I'm filling it. Okay, from here. I already have a tutorial showing you how to do frequency separation. If you don't know how to do frequency separation, I'll just put it on the description below. Then let's get on to it. I already have a action for that. So I'm just going to press my F5 and then the magic is going to happen. Okay, F5. Continue. And then you just going to zoom in here. So I'm going to make sure that this corresponds with our skin texture. Remember, you have to adjust this to a point where you can't see the blemishes already. Okay, I think, I think, I think six is okay, 6.4. Okay, and then from here, we're just gonna open it. I think this video is gonna be longer than the other one. So press Ctrl O and go to just select your high here. Go to zoom in a bit okay from here okay. and then let's go to curves up here and then just move your blacks here to the middle like this and then also move your whites to the middle like this until you see something like this and then come to your eyes here and just change it to normal the blend mode to normal as you can see now it's showing us things that we couldn't see with our naked eye. This is sort of like an x-ray version, x-ray. I like this trick, I like this trick. So let's just select our clone stem tool. I don't like using the healing brush tool, I don't know why. Let's just zoom in a bit here. Just press S for the clone, the clone, clone, clone stem tool. Choose to this. Just let's copy here and paint here. This one will take long, so I have to speed up the process, but I know you know how to do this. So now that we're done with our skin uh, blemishes, imperfection removal, this is how our x-ray version looks like, okay, before, after, you won't see any difference, let's just delete the curves here, just press delete and then just return this one back to linear light, let's just zoom in a bit, before, and then this is after, before and this is after we can still continue a bit here just to remove the wrinkles let's just select here let's just select here we are just gonna remove the wrinkles let's paint here paint here copy here paint here i can say now we are done regarding removing the imperfections on the skin Okay, I can say we are done, but this one you can still remove it. The lows here, or we can just paint it out with the tones. Now let's just move to the tones. The tones is actually where we balance the colors. The the, the, the color the color of the skin texture. Because as you can see it's not matching. Here it's dark, here it's light, here it's brown, here it's orange, here it's red. We're just gonna do a bit of balancing so to do that let's just press b on your keyboard or you can come here and just select the brush tool just increase your brush a bit like this 
just make sure your brush is soft and the hardness is on zero the size doesn't matter but make sure the size it's not small but it's bigger uh, than the eyes that's my rule especially when you're dealing with the face so from here just gonna also also come up here and just decrease your flow I usually have a rule put your flow below five anything below five I'm just gonna put it on five something like this because if you put it above 100 let me put it put my flow around 100 and then I'm just gonna give you an example uh, in order for you to work properly here and match the skin proper you have to copy and paint in order to do that you have to press alt on your keyboard and then copy here and then paint but you see what's happening if your flow is on 100 it's gonna do this just press ctrl z to go back and then let's just put the flow around four below five just zoom in a bit don't zoom in too much because you won't see what's happening then just press alt copy here and then paint here as you can see before and this is after before this is after this process actually takes time press alt to copy and then paint alt paint just give you an example then alt paint decrease your to decrease and increase your brush size just press your square brackets on your keyboard just next to p and enter those are your square brackets copy and then paint or just it's called sample actually sample and then paint sample paint sample paint sample paint just gonna keep on doing that the whole two and twenty minutes i'm just gonna speed up this because this process takes time also when you're done with the face you can create another layer don't use the same layer for everything here you have to have a layer for your face layer for your upper body and then a layer for your arms so let's just write arms here this one is for arms and this one is for upper body you're still doing with the face so i'm just gonna speed up this process then move to arms and then move to upper body make sure you don't overdo it uh, when you paint on the light side on the lightest part of, of the skin a uh, light part of the skin make sure you're using the light part to paint on the light part don't take the light part and paint on the dark part this is what is going to happen on the dark part you're just balancing the tones this is that dark part i'm just going to copy here and balance the dark balance the shadows of the skin something like this just take it and then balance here not too much you don't have to move it too much a bit another thing another thing when you're done with your skin with your face especially with your face uh, just double click or just right click and go to blending options above here then with your blending options go to your underlying layer below here now we have to actually blend our painting with the original background skin just adjust this slider a bit something like this don't overdo it and from here just press alt to split this arrow something like this and then let's just increase this a bit okay i like how it looks now before and then this is after and then just decrease the opacity a bit okay i like how it looks now before and then this is after then let's continue now from here I'm just gonna go to the upper body now we're done with the upper body this is before then 
this is after before after we're gonna do the same thing double click or just right click and go to blending options and then same thing and the lying layer drag this something like this and then just press alt to split something like this okay I like how it look before and then this is after before after let's just build up the other process I'm lost, I'm losing my mind anybody know where I could find her the girl is from game the girl is from game see how she's playing see how she's playing the girl is from game the girl is from game you see how she's playing you see how she's playing and then from here let's say we're done with painting the skin tone you can just select here and then press shift and then select here just just to select everything here and just press ctrl or command g on your pc and then call this tones it's a group inside a group now we're gonna move to the laws what's happening here we're actually gonna balance the mistakes we're gonna balance uh, the tones the mid tones the highlights and the shadows here so by doing that we're gonna select this tool here it's called the la lasso is it the lasso yeah i think it's a lasso tool press the lasso tool make sure your feather is around 14 pixel or more 14 14 between 20 and, and, and 14 pixels and then just gonna make a circle in parts you think they don't match and then Make sure you made a shortcut for Gaussian Blur. It's gonna help when it comes to editing something like this. So let's just select, uh, I'm just gonna select here. I wanna match this part with the surrounding part. I'm just gonna make a circle something like this. And then I press F4, cause I made F4 as my shortcut for Gaussian Blur. How to make that, let's just move fast. Come to edit then go to keyboard shortcuts go to filter here then go to Gaussian play just press f4 in your keyboard accept and you can press f4 then it's gonna appear like this then you have to move or play around with this this also can make your skin soft it depends how you did your all the other parts the first step it depends on the first step that you did so I'm trying to, to to make this line disappear. As you can see, there's a line here. Press F4. Let's just adjust this. Uh, yes, 9.2. I think that line has disappeared, but not that much. I'll just select here, something like this. Press here. Let's put it around. Uh, 8.9.8. Make sure this is not on the edges. The edges, I mean like here, or somewhere. Let me give you an example. This is an edge of the nose. You can't do this. You see what's gonna do? It's gonna blur up the edges. So please don't do something like that. You know, if you, in, also to deselect, just press Control D on your keyboard, it will deselect. As you can see, I wanna deselect here. Control D, deselect. I'm lost, I'm losing my mind Anybody know where I could find her? The girl is from game The girl is from game You see how she's playing We are done with everything regarding frequency separation Let's just hide this, something like this Just see, this is before and then this is after Before and then this is after Now we're gonna do dodge and bend in order to do dodge and bend, just press shift, control, alt, and E to copy everything below here. And then press control J to duplicate this copy. Then this one, just write dodge. Yeah, dodger. And write bend. Bend. Something like this. You can also group this. If you want to, just press control. Control G to make a group and then just write D and G D and B Dodge and Pen something like this. Open your group 
hide the first one, hide the burn, double click here, double clicking, then after double clicking, go to blending options, then go to blend mode, and then change the blend mode to screen, and then it will overexpose like this, and then from here, we're just gonna move the slide here on underlying layer, something like this until we see the parts of the face that we or the parts of the body that we know they are supposed to have shadows or we want the shadows to cut through okay let's just move it a bit somewhere like here i think i like it here because it's giving me that embryon lighting and then from here press alt and then cut this one and then drag it somewhere around here and bring this a bit back okay i like this one when you look at it like this, you might say, no, this is fine for me, which is cool. I won't judge you. Just press OK here. Then this is before. As yes, you can see, before it was flat. Now it has a 3D feeling. Okay, from here, just going to go to burn. And then double click, same story, but the opposite side. Now I have to change the blend mode to multiply. And then it's going to look very weird like this. And then let's just drag this something like this also and then from here we're just gonna drag it this side like this okay let's just place it here and drag this one like this okay. i think something like this is okay because i'm not trying to bring up the highlights of it i think something for me like this is okay I'm gonna decrease the highlights a bit to give them enough room to play around with just press ok here and then this is how it's gonna look and then from here just gonna close our group and then come to here it's called mask just select mask then make sure this is selected and then go to image and then apply image and then make sure everything looks like this or just pause the video and then press ok this is our Dodging band before and then after before and then after there are two ways of doing this okay i like this way but you can also use this to also touch and bend the dress or the background same steps but you have to make sure everything is selected i want the touch and bend to be only on the skin so the only way to do that make sure nothing is selected here shift control alt e to make a duplicate of a, a, everything below here then from here let us make sure this is above this one and then from here press your mouse tool here and then go to select and then go to color range and then just gonna play select the skin tone make sure here it says sample color you can also go to skin tone i don't know i don't like the skin tone option but yeah uh, something like this is good okay let's just select skin tone option and just drag this like this then from here let's just press ok another way press alt hold alt on your keyboard and then click here it's gonna give you something like this alt alt and then click here then from here press your gaussian play f4 we're gonna play the edges of our selection we want it to be harsh okay something like this okay and hold this one okay just let go okay from here then we go back to this one let's drag this one below like this then we hide this one and then do a group for occasion players just press ctrl g again and then drag hold here then press control and then drag it to this new new group something like this now it's only affecting the dress and her skin this is our before something like this and then this is our after natural looking skin danny x signing out please subscribe please subscribe guys please subscribe you gonna motivate me to make more videos if you subscribe Danny signing out. Where I can find her. That girl is from game. That girl is from game.
Don't you slay.